I always knew I wanted to do art. Since I started drawing in seventh grade, art was, it was a way to express what I felt inside to people around me. And sometimes it's scary to put that out. Like I sculpt the figure a lot. I love the way the figure is and it's how it's designed. And it makes me want to just to use it to express emotions and feelings. I hope that my art touches them. I hope that they, whatever I'm thinking about, I want it to communicate to them, whether it's a story or an emotion or maybe just even a feeling, I want them to experience what that is that I've, I've experienced. A lot of my sculptures have to do with uh, being a parent or being a man and, and, and caring for others or honor or um, maybe even just the human condition of how we live. Um, and everybody can identify with those things, I think. There's no greater thing than when you say something and somebody else goes, yeah, I get that. I really see what you're saying, even just in a conversation. But to do that with art, then they get to have that same emotion, that same feeling for as long as they have that art. My inspiration comes from many different places. I don't have a set, I think of a thought, then that thought becomes a sketch, and that sketch becomes a, 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 a full-blown sculpture or a painting or something. Uh, sometimes it'll be just, I think that's cool. Look at, look at the way my, the muscles happen in my arm. Ooh, that's neat. I love that it's so expressive, that strength. How would I use that in a sculpture? And then maybe it'll start with something I'm inspired by lots of other artists and here is amazing because there's artists that are amazing here and I walk around and I'm not going to do what they do but something that they have spoken to me sparks, ignites something in me and I want to express something from that. I have my favorites in all genres and every time I look at them I try to think what is it that's making their piece really touch me? What is it that I love about that? And I'll use, I think everybody takes from everyone else and you put it into your cauldron and you stir it until it becomes something new. It's a, it's a new dish that you're going to serve. And it always comes out with a personal voice because everybody sees the world, sees different things in their own individual way. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. I believe that through and through. If somebody sees my work and wants to do something similar to it, there's no greater compliment to me. And I feel like my art complements many other people's arts because it, they have affected the way I uh, express myself. He is Determination. He is his name. And <laughs> you go through different parts of your life. Some parts will be very calm. And sometimes you can express that calm in a, in a nice serene painting or a, a nice calm gesture in a sculpture. But if you look at his eyes, he's got that look like, uh, I don't know, he's weary about something. Something is causing him to not be too sure. But I wanted him also to have that sense of determination or uh, that unbreakable spirit that whatever's coming at him that he's not quite sure about, he is going to push right through. He's going to make it, he'll be successful. So far for me, this is my first year and I have not seen or found another venue that has so many amazing artists who are amazing people too. Honestly, this show, everything is elevated to a level that I'm just in awe of. Every time I walk around this, this tent, I just, I find something else that I'm just completely amazed by. And also, Susan and her crew, <laughs> I have not seen something work so smooth that could be such a chaotic mess, but it is a fine-tuned running machine and it's, it's the best. She does awesome and I think that's why it's successful here. I think that's why people come to here because of the way everybody is. The, the, the beauty and the people make the beauty and the art and that's where everybody wants to be.